Hi, Sunny. It's Babak here from London Dairy Dodge. Give me a call. Uh, give, shooting of your video right here. Okay, so this is the one that I was telling you about last night. The 2011 Dodge Charger, the Mopar edition I was telling you about. Okay, so it has a lot of nice fancy stuff. So, you know, you were looking for an SRT. This basically has, you know, a different edition. And, you know, very sport looking. You know, actually, you know, if you don't end up buying it, I'll end up buying it. It's actually that nice. Okay, I'll go around and show you a little bit about it. So this is how the key looks like in the 2011s. Okay, so just keep it in your pocket you walk up to the door you touch it it, uh, it unlocks and locks and uh, there is also a command start already on here which you double click and it starts up locking everything right through here okay so this is the front of the vehicle you know the new body style with the nice grill uh, your LED headlights and you have the nice fog lights in this one as well okay let's pop the hood so we have our 5.7 V8 Hemi in this one. This one does have the MDS, so in the, when you're driving in the highway, it shuts down a four-cylinder. But when you press on the gas, it, all the eggs, all the eight uh, cylinders explode, and uh, you know you, you do get quite a bit of power. So I have the same engine in this as my in my 06, uh, but all these in the newer ones, they've. Uh, you know they enhance the performance quite a bit okay main stuff label in yellow okay this is the main this is the you know the battery source at the front but the main battery is in your trunk okay it has the sway bars at the front here you know keep your engine nice and uh, calm here if you're gonna be driving fast and you know swerving so here I'll close this guy up here's another look of the front gorgeous headlights I love the headlamps on this okay has the upgraded rims okay with the low performance tires we'll go around here so on your mirror, they fold in and out, so they go like this, and also, you know, they go in in case something hits it, so it doesn't break off. There's this little hazard light here, so if there's a, someone's in your blind spot, and you're passing and you're trying to switch lanes, this will pop up and make sure that there's, you, it lets you know there's someone in your, you know, uh, blind spot, so you don't end up hurting, like, you know, hurting this beautiful car. It's heated as well, so in the winter time, turn your defrost on. So this is the button I was telling you about, okay? You walk up to the door, you press this, the door is locked, okay? You can't open it. But after when you press on it, touch it, it unlocks right there. Okay, you got your power window, power locks right throughout here. You have power seats with the lumbar support, it's the 10 way, so you know you can actually make sure you're comfortable, especially in a long ride there. Back here, you do have the upgraded um, a steering wheel with the volume control on the back of the steering, okay? and your lights and everything and for your trunk is actually right there to open it up let's get in here tell you a little bit about it so in here you have you know your evic system which tell you a lot of information in there right in the middle there right there uh, cruise control right on the steering wheel again right here and again on this side another some more volume control and uh, if you want to tilt you know it actually comes out and goes up and down so very neat so you don't need to put the key in it's just to push to start so you just push this right here starts on okay and you have the nice touch screen here has your backup camera navigation heated seats which you can start you know right there you just press driver and uh, you go into this screen here okay you have your Bluetooth um, navigation like that and you have your satellite radio the dual climate control so everyone controls their own temperature reads your memory card you can put in here cd mp3 dvd all that and it says mopar edition right here and it says number 055 and uh, you know it's limited edition not too many of these were made you know about 100 of them in all america uh, so you know again a little bit of sunglasses your home controls right up here you have the big uh, mirror right throughout here and the, the the dark interior on the roof, which I'm a big fan of. I've never, you know, not too many of them have that. So in here you have decent amount of room. Got some cup holders, which you know, can be hidden away. So in here you have a lot of, you know, they have the USB and also auxiliary. You can plug in your iPod, iPhone, anything like that too. And there's a charger right there for it. Okay, this is the inside of this. Let's go around. I'll show you a little bit more about it. So the trunk just opens up by itself, you just press the button. Let's check out the back seats, actually. I love the blue trim and going all around it for the Mopar there. Okay, and then you have the climate, you know, the, the ventilations all throughout the back here. You know, mint condition, only 6,000, uh, 5,996 5, kilometers. And a 2011, it's basically brand new. Um, there we go, so it has the sway bars back here too, you know, keep the vehicle all solid and nice. And uh, your spare, which will be right under here. Decent amount of room in the trunk, actually. Okay, so shut off that. 
So you do have a backup camera right here. This is the back one. Every time I'm putting it in reverse, you will see it. Then you have the dual exhaust, and it's the actual uh, aftermarket exhaust with the Mopar edition. There's a bunch of, there's these four bumps back here. They are uh, your backup sensors. Every time you're reversing, there's something around it. It will beep to make sure you don't hit anything. You have the spoiler. Here's a little side view. Okay. Hemi badge right on the side there. Right. And you got your driver's side right here. I'm just gonna go in there, I'm gonna start up the vehicle and we'll take it for a quick, quick drive. Okay, so you just put your foot on the brake, press that, starts up nice. This is how your shift looks like, actually really nice. So it's automatic, but also has the manual control. So you can still shift it and it really helps, you know, if you wanna be racing or anything like that. So let me wipe the wipers here. Okay, let's take it for a, just a quick spin and I'll go over down the back row. So yeah, this is how your screen looks. Very nice. Okay. Let's let the traffic go and I'm just gonna take it back down the back road and you just kind of feel the power. I would, when I was buying my charge, I was thinking about the SRT too, but uh, the RT, trust me, you get enough power. 5.7 V8 won't let you down, okay? And the, like this SRT is it gonna be a 6.1 and it won't have the, the, and it won't have the MDS, right? That shuts off, so it's gonna be really hard on gas, the SRT. I would, uh, you know, I would probably really personally prefer the RT, especially this one, the Mopar edition over an SRT. You know, overall, it'll be a nicer vehicle to go around. Thank you for your time, Sunny. Was again, it was Babic from London Dairy Dodge. I'll give you a shot and make sure you received everything, and hopefully you like it, okay? We'll take it from there. Thank you, bye-bye.